this is going to be a video product review of the H4N Pro Handy Recorder. Now, if you have this thing, unlike years ago, it does not come with the AC adapter now. The original, the H4, came with an AC adapter. I don't know if the H4N ever came with an AC adapter. When you're using this thing, you're probably going to get maybe 8 hours, maybe 10 hours, I don't know, it's hard to say, of battery life. So if you use rechargeable batteries, you have to go out and buy the recharger, you get it, or the charger, you have to buy the rechargeable batteries, and then when the, if you're out in the field when it goes dead, then you change the batteries. If you're not out in the field, then you're spending a lot of money to replace batteries unless you're using the recharging thing. So you can go out and buy the Zoom AD-14AD. And that's what this video is about. Uh, it is available on Amazon. I will leave an affiliate link in the video description because that's pretty much why I'm doing the video is for the affiliate link. Zoom AD-14. AC adapter, 5 volt AC power adapter designed for use with the A. What am I saying? Designed for use with the H4N, the H4N Pro, the ARQ, the AR 96, AR 48, UAC 2, the R16, and the R24. This goes for about 20 bucks. When I was looking on Amazon, they didn't have it. It goes in and out of stock. I'm looking right now. We're at September 1st, and this won't be available for September until 17 days from now. 17 to 27 days from now. I wanted this. I didn't think they were ever going to carry it on Amazon again because it said currently unavailable. So I went and I bought it online at another vendor. I'm not going to mention them because I'm going to be putting my affiliate link in there. But if you want to buy it right now, you're going to have to do your searching to find it. Uh, 20 bucks is a lot of money. Replacing batteries, you might not use it that much. I barely use my H4N since I bought it, but I'm going to try to start using it more with the uh, SM58 mic that I just bought, and I'm going to mess with some videos. So let's take it out of the box. You know what an AC adapter is. Uh, it's unfortunate that they don't give it to you. When you purchase the thing, it costs more than enough as it is. I don't know why they have to get 20 more dollars from you for an AC adapter, but I guarantee you this thing probably cost them about a dollar to make. I mean a dollar to buy. They probably buy this in bulk out of China for a buck, if that much. And then between, I know you have to ship it and you got to market it and you got to promote it and you got to box it up in this nice fancy plastic and that's $19. And then they split the profits. So I'm looking right now, it says usually ships in two to four weeks. Again, if you see that on Amazon, um, if you see that it says currently unavailable and you're patient, put it in your uh, wish list or put it in the cart. I don't know if you can put it in the cart. Or, no, you can't put it in the cart if it's not available, currently unavailable. But if it is going to ship, then you can put it in your wish list or add it to the cart and just ride it out until you get the message that it's available. So what does it say about this thing? I mean, come on. Besides putting like a zillion ads on my, uh, on my video, there's not really much. It says 240 volts. Well, it's really 120 volts. AC from uh, the US. And then I'm looking, it also says about this adapter, AC adapter for H4N, R16, and Q3. Q3 wasn't in the list that I just read to you. Uh, what else do we have here? AC adapter, 3.2 ounces, 4.8 out of 5 stars, made by Zoom, comes out of China, so it probably costs 50 cents to make. What's the size of the jack? It is a 5.5 by 2.1 millimeter. Thanks. Total length of the barrel is 9 millimeters from base to tip. The barrel diameter is 4 millimeters. The pin opening is 2.1 millimeters. Perfect replacement for the Zoom power supply. You can probably also go out and buy power supplies that, uh, universal power supplies with the different plugs so that you can make this work. Will the adapter work on the H2N? Yes, I believe so, but they didn't know. Does it work with the original H4 all silver one? I tried to verify the website. 
And then I think this Zoom 8014 might not be suitable for the original H4 you got. I would suggest you pick up the Zoom recorder and ask a technician. Okay, that's a waste of time. Does it work with the 2020 version of Zoom H4 and Pro? Works with the older or newer? So somebody said it does work with the older or newer. Uh, let's go look at uh, three stars and see what the reviews are. It works fine. My relative lack of enthusiasm is causing is caused by it costing a bit more than it should. I agree, it's ridiculous. Can't find an answer in the manual. The product only works when they there are working batteries already. This product only works when there are working batteries already in the device. If no batteries are found on the device, it will not power on when plugged in. I have tried turning this device on while plugged in with dead batteries, but it does not work. That doesn't make sense. This device only works when you have, okay, he already said that. Don't replace the Zoom plug-in. Upgrade to a USB adapter that can run your Zoom off portable power bricks. Replacement power supply may work, but if you lost yours, skip the direct replacement and get a USB by DC barrel connector adapter instead. Allows you, um, Okay, so they're saying just get an adapter and then plug it into a power bank. I don't know. Uh, you might run into some problems, a power bank. Well, what do we have over here? AC adapter. Well, I'll put 5 volts and, okay, that makes sense. Power bricks, probably 5 volts. Beware the cord is short. Maybe it's not the power supply. I purchased this for my 4N. Should work. Oh, which works only by batteries and bought it with the power supply but the first one didn't work so I picked this one up this one doesn't work either moral of the story it may be the recorder that's the problem should be included yeah okay so that's already what I said so we're gonna try this out right now I'm gonna plug this in I like to make eight minute videos so I can do lots of ads on there nobody watches my videos anyway so that's the problem um, but if you watch it and you're still watching thumbs up subscribe like share leave a comment whatever you want to do if you don't want to do that that's fine so we're going to test this out. I'm going to plug it in. We're going to see if it shows that it's got uh, AC power connected on it. And then I want to plug it in without batteries and see what it does. I, I should do that right now. But I'm not going to do that right now. Let me unplug it. Let me plug this into the wall. I'll come back here and we'll see what's going on with this whole thing. Okay? First off, yes, this power cord is really short. You plug it into the bottom over here. And do I get it? It doesn't start up. Let's start it up and see if we get a little thing that shows uh, plugged in with AC power. That is the important thing. After you spend $20, you hope that it's going to work. It's starting up, but I, again, do not know if it is working off of batteries or if it is working off the AC adapter. I'm going to find out in a minute. It takes a long time to load depending on how, many, uh, how much memory you have, how, much the SD, how big the SD card is, and how many files you have on there. I have absolutely no files. Well, that's interesting. I don't see anything that says AC. So how do you know if it's AC? How do you know if it's working off AC? That's weird. Is that the AC thing over there? I don't even know. It's powered up. I'm going to unplug this and we're going to see what happens. I don't see anything that shows AC. Strange. Oh, that's it over there. Battery, fully charged. I'll plug this thing in on the bottom. It goes away. We're powered up with AC. Now, somebody said that it doesn't work unless you have batteries in there. So we're going to test that out right now and find out if that's really true. I'm going to shut this off. Wow, that turned off really fast. That's weird. I'm going to open this thing up. I really don't want to mess with this, but I'm going to do it for all the people that are watching the video. The top goes to the left bottom goes to the right yes you know, some circuits you have to have the batteries in but I don't I, I just find that odd that they would do that to somebody so we have no batteries in there right now I'm gonna plug this thing in and see if these people are right or wrong here's the big test I think they're wrong but I could be wrong and there you go people no batteries in there 
starting up right now. So all those people that said it, it doesn't start without batteries in, they were wrong. It starts without batteries in because you can see it right over here. There are no batteries. So if you were smart enough to stay and watch the whole video, I just want you to see that uh, it's going to power it well. Yeah, you're not going to see the battery thing because the batteries are not in there, obviously. But it's loading in strictly with the AC adapter plugged in and no batteries. No batteries right now and we have nothing over here. And so I could plug in the batteries. It shouldn't blow the circuit. I might blow this whole thing up while I'm talking to everybody. If I blow it up, oops. Put the batteries back in. Put the door on. And obviously because it's charging, it's powered up with AC, you're not going to see the battery thing in there. I'm going to pull this out. It reverts over to battery. And that, my friends, is the review. Thanks for watching. Come on, let's make this go viral. I know nobody has a, a Zoom H4n, but, you know. Goodbye.